you so much for chatting to Five News. Thank I'm you. I'm really glad that it's you sitting in that oh, chair. Oh wow! I know I shouldn't Thank say that, but much. I am. Thank How are you, you feeling? Doing. Have you stopped crying? I've actually stopped crying. Actually, you know what? I can't even lie to you. I just saw the video for the single and I just cried. So that's why we need to retouch your makeup because it was just the, the most magical video I've ever seen in my life. And um, I'm just so happy. It's quite unreal though. Everything just seems to be really, really unreal. I was just going to say, it must be surreal. That is your music video. How do you get your head around that? Exactly the point. I, do, I can't get my head around it. When I held the single as well, it just feels like, oh my gosh, this is actually mine, this is my video. I didn't think for a second that I'd win since, you know, from the beginning of the show, I, I remember telling my brother David, I'm going into the show and I know I'm not going to win, so let's just enjoy it while we can. And then I kept getting by every week and I'm just like, what is going on? And then I won and it's just even really weird me actually saying that now. Well, just looking at you kind of through the weeks and, you know, the first few weeks were like, really glad to be here, great, whatever happens, cool. Yeah. And you could kind of see the, the kind of awareness that actually you were in with a chance as you, it was getting nearer to the end. Right. When did it hit you that you might have a shot at this? Um, it never really hit me because I was convinced it was between Owen and Janice, really. Um, so, but the, the, I, it just, every week I always said to myself before I went on stage, you know, at the end of the day, you're here, this could be your last performance, just enjoy yourself. And that's what I aim to do every week. I just wanted to go on stage, even if I hit a bum note. I'd rather hit a bum note knowing I was smiling <laughs> than looking like, oh my God, I've just hit a bum note. What am I going to do next? So, um, yeah, just enjoy. There Smile. were no bum notes, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, let's go back to Saturday now and Beyonce, which I think for a lot of people was the defining moment, you two together, oh, even bigger than the announcement that you'd won. Yeah. That moment where you two were on stage, what was that like? That was a dream come true for me. Honest to God, like... I've always wanted to do it with her. I remember saying week one, because there was rumours that she was coming on, on the finals from week one. And I remember saying to Cheryl, if I make it to the finals, please make Beyonce happen. And she was like, I'll try my best. And that last week, it was so up and down, and it was always it was always a no. And I found out, I think, at the press conference, either Thursday or Friday, that it was confirmed it was Beyonce. I cried when I knew she was confirmed that she was coming. Cried when it was confirmed I was singing with her. And it was just absolutely out of this world being on this stage with her. My goodness, a moment to remember. So in the run-up, did you get much chance to practice? How did you work out who was going to sing what bit? What was it like? Well, you know, she wanted to see me before we went on the rehearsal. So I saw her in her room and cried when I met her, held her for like five <laughs> minutes and how much I love her. And then we sort of vibed. It was just like, done the song once through. I then would tell, I'd, I'd done my part and said where I was going to introduce her on the stage. Then she sang and it was like, sort of we sort of just went with it it took literally one take in the room to know who was singing what part and the one line that i loved she said to me let's do it together that's why we had a duet little line where we both sang together I it was amazing that. absolutely amazing <laughs> and even in rehearsals in her room she was holding my hand she wouldn't go with my hand and then even in rehearsals on stage she was holding me and it was just so overwhelming because she's so warm Mm. You know, and I didn't expect it to be like that. I, she just surprised me and it was just so magical. And she said you were a superstar. Gosh, you know, <laughs> in the room she even went to me, I think you've won. And I was like, sorry? Uh, oh, my gosh. And then I remember saying after the performance with her, I don't care. I really don't care. I sang with Beyonce. Don't care. Don't care anymore. That's it. And do you know what though, for you to hold your own, I think that was a big test on Saturday night. And that spoke so much, I think, to everyone. For people to see that you could hold your own with Beyonce wow. was pretty amazing. It, I was welling up when I was introducing her on the stage. And just to be in her presence, you know, I just, I felt very honored to be sharing the same stage as her. The fact that she even said, yes, I'll do a duet with, you know, I'm no one. I'm just Alex from North London. And she, I've now sung with, you know, to me, the biggest person in this world. And she's just amazing. And she, I, I actually learned so much in that short space of time. Cheryl's face was like that as well. Cheryl, it was Cheryl's <laughs> dream as well because even me and Cheryl was like, because you know the, the song Listen, I've never even attempted to sing that song ever in my life. Mm -hmm. When it got to judges' houses, Cheryl trusted me with that song, so I have a lot to thank her for as well. And I didn't e ever expect to sing that song. And the development in, throughout the 11 weeks that Evie's taught me as well, got put into that song and, and it was a different key when I sang it with Beyonce and it was a higher key. And just amazing. I'm just... 
Oh my God, completely happy. Now, Cheryl said a really lovely thing on, on Saturday night. She yeah. said that she wasn't just your mentor, you two were friends now yes. after this six months. And yes. I noticed at the press conference the other day you were holding hands. Yes. What, what are you to each other now? You know what it is? I've said it from week one. She's not my mentor. I know that I learned so much from her, but she isn't my mentor. She is my closest friend. And I'm missing that because we get into the routine of seeing her Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. And now I don't know when I'm going to see her again, but I know that we're planning dinner this week. And I know that we're always in touch. Like she texts me three o'clock this morning and saying, I miss you, I can't sleep. And I text her the same thing, you know, this morning I probably woke her up saying, please watch Gene TV. You know, because she is just a great person. I respect her dearly. I respect the things that she has to say. She understands me. I understand her. And we clicked. We just clicked. You know, from, from the first audition, I noticed that there was a strong vibe. Like, I get drawn to her. Like, I'm just... We will sit down and when we first used to talk, I think she thought I was a bit crazy because <laughs> when we'd be on the phone, I'd be like, um, hi, Cheryl, yes, Cheryl, and I'd get really like starstruck on the phone. And then I remember one time talking to her on the phone and the sun was sitting there, her face on the front page. And I was like this. <laughs> just ridiculous. And now I'm just, I'm just so familiar with her presence now that I just enjoy every moment with her. And hasn't she bought you a necklace? Is that true that she's bought you a yes, little necklace? Yes, she bought me a little necklace and it's a, a angel wing in, in diamonds and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's the Queen's diamonds. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it's just amazingly beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, I think the whole thing with Cheryl, I think it's been such a great series for her as well, apart from the fact that she won with yeah, you. Yeah, my gosh. Um, I think the public have really had a chance to get to know her and yeah. fallen in love with her so she's come out of the whole thing brilliantly as well hasn't she i think that's fantastic because um it's made me like i'm i obviously everyone knew about cheryl cole everyone knew about girls aloud and then her being on the show to be quite honest with you and i've always said this i think the show needed her she's brought something completely different mm. to this show she brought something young edgy different and she's always been honest with people she's spoken her mind all the time she's never been afraid to you know whatever comes out of her mouth comes out of her mouth and she's not afraid to speak and that's what i respect her for mostly so yeah do you think she's enjoyed it oh my god i know she's <laughs> loved it absolutely loved it yeah fantastic now obviously this is the first interview today of many big big changes coming for you alex are you ready Sorry. for what's about to happen to you um you know what I, I i just take every day as it comes you know one minute at a time i've not even thought, um, thought about what's going to happen in the next couple of months or what's going to happen in the next week i'm i'm just hoping just to enjoy myself, you know, and just take everything in right now because I want to learn so much. And I don't, and I know it's all a rush and I know everything's happening so fast. So I'm just like holding back, taking it all in, ready to just learn, you know, and I just, I'm happy for this experience. And obviously you've got the single. I mean, that's the yeah. first big thing. And it, oh my and it gosh. sounds great. But musically, what kind of stuff do you want to be doing? Because I see you as being a little bit kind of funkier than right. Leona. Is, would you agree with that? Yeah, most definitely. Um, I mean, Leona is quite funky as well. Um, I just I just feel like I see myself as more as a little Beyonce, you know, the dancing and, and everything, being very energetic on stage and all that. And um, I know that's yet to be discussed what we want to do, but I want to bring old school music back. It'd be like old school meets new school. You know, I enjoy listening to people like Alice Knight, Aretha, Al Green. And if I could bring back big bands, you know, and have bands on the stage and everything, I'd love that. But we'll see. I mean, I've just, gosh, I can't even believe I'm actually signed. And whatever direction we go, I'm sure it's going to be a great fun. Uh, I know a lot of people said as well, oh, uh, Alex won't win because they can't have someone who's too similar to Leona. Did, did that ever occur to you that, you know, yeah. you're another kind of soulful big voice and that might go against you right well you see from the beginning when i got compared to leona i was like there's no way i'm gonna win full stop we've they've had a fantastic girl singing win it's time for a band to win and i said that before even meeting jls um and i was convinced the band would win this year because the band's never won so the fact that i have really that's why i'm still so shocked because i didn't expect this mm. i didn't really did not expect this i didn't expect to get this far and i'm just I have to look at it all and it's just a big bubble it's like wow <laughs> you know but i'm just hoping that people can realize that there's, there is enough room for everyone in this industry and you know everyone's going to make everyone's unique because you, everyone's different so and what have your family said because i know you're really close to your family aren't you? yeah um okay well firstly my mum after saturday looked a bit confused and a bit shocked <laughs> <laughs> she just looked like she didn't know what to do with herself and um my family have just been so supportive i've not really seen them i've not spoken to them much because since Saturday, everything's just been so hectic. It's just been 
a train ride, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I've seen them tonight, so it's going to be fun. Fantastic. And I know your mum's not been well, and, and yeah. one of the things that you said about why you wanted to win was it, it'll give you the chance to kind of look after it. Is that yeah. something that you're definitely, happy about? Definitely, definitely. Um, I mean, I, wanted, I want to now look into what is the best treatment for my mum and what's the best way possible to help her. Um, and just take it step by step, one day at a time. Fantastic. Yeah. And what about Christmas? Will you get any time off? Will you yes. be at home watching Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to be at home at Christmas watching Top of the Pops, watching EastEnders that I've missed for so long, <laughs> and having my big roast. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh.